the you other one taken away. Negative <laughs> Nancy's always hating on stuff. I'm, we're going to focus on the positive reviews. I can, I can now, now uninstall Battle.net. <laughs> Welcome back to Linux Gamecast Weekly. The show covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how-tos, and most importantly, you know it. Whatever the hell else we come up with. I'm Ben. That is Jordan. That's Pedro over there. Together with you, Shot Realm Dynamic, joining us live, helping us form Cocaine Voltron. It's A, it did it automatically. Ha-ha! Good job. <laughs> you, you, you doodled it. We, we got Cocaine Voltron down if you were in the pre-show, like pre-pre-show where I was showing off like the, I have a horse button now too, so stay tuned. Um, <laughs> if, you, if you or someone you know has horse button, please contact a doctor immediately. <laughs> after you send us pictures. Uh, but check this out. Uh, uh, we've all done this. Like the second you get to hold anything, you can start stacking automation on. You just go ham with it. Then you got to work your way back from the cliff that you end up on. Haven't hit the cliff yet. So looking forward to doing that. Gentlemen. Right, uh, I was already home. UPS, uh, USPS guy dropped off something that I was kind of, ex uh, if you tuned in like last week, I was angry because I lost a bid because, uh, there was one on eBay. I've been trying to get one for years. They're just crazy expensive. It's a capture card. You've heard of capture card? You know what those are? No, they, they, no, no idea. They, they capture None monsters whatsoever. that you stick in your pocket. <laughs> yeah. You know, pocket capture cards. Uh, well, I mean, People still call them capture cards, like USB. You know, I did a couple of them. Mm -hmm. I got multiple ones in multiple systems. USB, PCI Express. But I got this guy. This is something new to poke with a Linux stick. And this is the AJA Kona LHI, which is clearly oh, a black a rough name. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> now, you might... <sighs> Not have ever heard of AJA or Kona or LHI. Pedro, Google that real quick. Kona <laughs> LHI. Is that going to be some porno shit? <laughs> See, I'm Portuguese. The word Kona has a different connotation. What does it mean in Portuguese, Pedro? <laughs> the C word. <laughs> Do a search Which C for Kona. Shut up, Jordan. <laughs> Uh, no, uh, AJA.com, Kona mm -hmm. LHE Plus, affordable, no, 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 flexible LH Kona I, power. I, Pedro, I. <laughs> oh, LHI. Okay. Yeah, the LH, yes, I. You don't, you don't want that Multi format you want analog I. digital IO. Mm -hmm. Overview do you, text downloads desktop IO. <laughs> do you see anything that would be uh, prohibitive, uh, prohibitive about picking one up? Uh, it doesn't list the price. <laughs> oh. That's usually a bad ah, idea. <laughs> yeah, so if you, if you gotta ask, you can't afford it. That sort of thing. <laughs> it's got the price on it. Okay. Oh, I didn't even see that. <laughs> okay. 1879 yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not, not quite as expensive as Spooky Men, or Spooky Boys, whatever the fuck <laughs> that thing was called. Yeah, no, uh, 150 euros at the time, yeah. so... <laughs> These are, this is going to be part of the video I'm going to be working on with uh, one of these is like, because you remember the uh, like Magewell quad I had, right? Well, I still got yeah. it. Um, I, I, I told you like, wh why is this one like $900 and the Black Magic quads $500? And I'm, this is professional broadcast equipment, but last year, at the end of last year, they added uh, like AJA came together and like worked with the OBS team to get support added for their hardware, like legitimate support. And I've been wanting to try one. So I got to go okay. the other one. But I need to find, because we all know what this connector is, right? J1? Mm -hmm. Does that look yep. familiar? Uh, the uh, not DVI, the same one yeah, that, that, the, that, that, that uh, it's, it's missing some pins for it to be a yeah, DVI. The yeah, AMD yeah, yeah, yeah. Pro cards had. Yes. <laughs> is, is it, is it that, the, the dual link display link or whatever? Is or? the standard connector, also known as a DMS-60. But okay. not quite, because the DMS-60 has that one blocked off pin. Ah. Right. <laughs> right. So, so I this want... this is a DMS-69? Giggity. <laughs> this, this is, like, going to be my little hold-up first. Like, I want to go through, like, what does it take to get one of these set up on Linux and whether, you know, how it works with OBS, just for that information to have it out there for everybody, because that doesn't exist. Hi, AJ, if you're watching this, I'm going to become your first line tech support, like <laughs> I am for all Blackmagic Deck Link products, and that's a bad thing. Um, 
sponsor us god damn it we can't talk shit about you <laughs> right yeah literally by our silence <laughs> i've been trying for there's a breakout box did you i posted that in our discord a super secret discord join that if you're a twitch sub or a patron the there's a breakout box for these bad boys you know that has all the aes and all the sdi but it uses that connector fuck me if i can find a long version of that connector Oh, it, what, what's the maximum length on it? Is uh, it like no, they have? They're like two meters. I, I tracked down the actual part number for the damn thing, which okay. took me half a fucking day. But what I'm looking for, this is what the sole reason I'm bringing this out there is want to put this out there because I know a lot of people listen. DMS sixty, male to male. That's what I'm looking for. Preferably like seven meters. Okay. Wait. Lazy web, get on that. Pedro, you make it the. Uh, like you might have. <laughs> I'm just thinking of signal degradation. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it, 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 okay, a lot of the stuff's like. I mean, there's like. Yes, you can run HDMI over seven meters. Yeah. Uh, yes, active HDMI with uh, the uh, extra little. Pedro, power I got connection. seven meter HDMI <laughs> cables in here. They're not fucking hacked. Oh, it's... All right. <laughs> HDMI, the longest ones that I've dealt with are four meters. And if you have a laptop and you're trying to drive that on a laptop just running on battery power, it's just mm-hmm. going to go, <laughs> fuck well, you. Well, not only does this have the SDI, <laughs> but it's also got SDI on it. And SDI, you can usually run about 100 meters for SDI. That's why it exists. Um, and it's got AES, which then we're talking kilometers. You can run AES. Well, like I said, seven meters. If anybody knows uh, a place that even sells these, like I am talking, like I'm probably willing to pay a hundred bucks for one of these damn cables just to have DMS 60. Let me know. Stay tuned. Also, I put out a video uh, on Patreon. If you want to play the home game, we fucking love benchmarks. If you're into PC and you're in technology, you like benchmarks. You do. You got yeah, graphs. Give me a bar yeah, graph. Let's look fuck at the numbers pretty pictures. <laughs> exactly. That's all you do. Like, oh, look, the new thing's out. And what do you do? You skip past all the carefully yeah, written yeah. worded article. And what, you're what, like, yeah, sh- sh- show, show me the jaggy line. I want right, to see where right, it falls right, on right, the right. jaggy line. Yeah. And most, more importantly, like, I want to see where my thing compares, even if it's especially yes. like video cards. I do it all the time. A new <laughs> video card comes up and I'm like, oh, where's my old busted S3 uh, 3060 fall? And I'm like, hey, it's still, well, it's at the bottom, but I mean, it's still it's, on the list. It's still on the list. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. this is it's exactly where I'm at right now. I'm like, hey, it's still on the list. I'm not even. And like trying to, but I have a uh, charts over on LinuxGameCast.com. They're easy to find. Or USB round trip latency, or just round trip latency for your audio interface, which is really important if you want to do live monitoring and like how plugins affect that. I even got a nice little hack to save you a couple of milliseconds that you probably don't even realize. Firewire and of course like PCI Express round trip latency. So that video is currently up for patrons. If you've been curious about how do I even measure that, it's relatively simple. And more importantly, it'll give you some good numbers where you can head over and play the chart game. Like, hey, how fast is my uh, audio interface? Um, yeah, go check that out. Jordan. Yes. Do you have any DMS 60 cables that are preferably <laughs> seven meters? Uh, unfortunately, I have the seven kilometer one. Uh, so uh, I can I can send you one of those. Uh, you, you might need to coil it up a little bit. Right. No, it's 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 been uh, it's been a pretty quiet week. Um, like I was talking in the pre pre super shows and been poking through BG three finally got back to where I, where I had to leave off at the stream cause I was unable to save. So that's, that's fun. Um, saw the, saw the Robert Pattinson Batman it was pretty good. Oh yeah. Enjoyed, yeah. yeah. Uh, Sp- sparkly Batman. He did a, he did a pretty good job. He's like actually a decent actor when you give him good material shock. Right. Um, yeah, I've never seen him in anything other than like, uh, I watched the, uh, the sparkly, uh, like I think the first one with Rift yeah, Tracks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the lighthouse, he was in that with uh, Willem DeFriend, and uh, that, one, that one's good. Um, but yeah, uh, no, I, I, I enjoyed uh, Sparkly Batman quite a bit. Yeah, other, other than that, I've, it's been pretty, pretty quiet. <gasps> well, I need to ask Pedro, because Pedro, out of all the people I know, all the people I know, if I didn't ask him directly, Pedro, do you have a DMS 60 cable? <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, no, no, no. They, I even confused the connector with the DMS-59, because, you know, it doesn't have the blocked-off pin. That's what the 60 and the 59 If you want to get real squirrely with it, <laughs> with it uh, here's some extra confusion. Look up low-force helix connectors. Is, is it a very similar... <laughs> the exact sim- same thing. Oh, boy, yeah. 
But yeah, no. This week I actually got to play with the uh, because with the NHS uh merging, there's now a need to have basically a accurate representation of all of the IT workstations across the multiple different organizations that used to be that are now merging into one. Oh, so you can just like draw them with the MS Paint? Uh yeah, pretty much. <laughs> But there were a couple of, uh, well, more than a couple. There's quite a few uh, Linux endpoints out there. And uh, other than the people who are using them, there was no one that seemed uh, terribly willing to uh, manage the Linuxy bits. So I said, yeah, I'll do it. So uh, I, I wrote a script that's like a one shot. You just extract the thing, run the script. It puts the uh, anti-malware and Microsoft's ATP and it registers it with the uh, the thing we use for service desk. Just does all of that in one go. It's like, there, done. We have a, an accurate count. <laughs> How many jobs were sacrificed? <laughs> I, that I'm aware of, none. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, I was like, dude, just, well, just, just keep the shades down, man. Don't, yeah, don't. N- 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 now that you have replaced the one Linux specialist job with a bash script... Like he's going to be very mad at you. <laughs> God damn it. I was collecting a six figure salary. You son of a bitch. I had a sweet deal. I'm a... Shows up at your house. Oh, no. I just, that, that's the thing. No one wanted to do it because those machines, we know that they existed because we bought them. But uh, yeah, they weren't managed in any way, shape, or form. You, you need to do the, um because uh, I have one little ping that I made is anytime I get a fucking company that wants to have a talk about like configuring audio and shit it's always the company it's the i can do that for fucking money ping mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and i like that that's relevant enough culturally where i can send that fucking ping and never hear back from the motherfuckers yep <laughs> don't you want to get paid an exposure though don't you want to freeze yeah, to death these are that's big what companies you dude they're just like yeah, so you, yeah, you just, your fucking people. dude it is always like hey i was wondering you know like maybe an hour of your time i'm like i send that back never hear from them again yeah yeah here, I, here here's my rate yeah, here's it, it, my it, consultancy it, it, rate. There you go. It's, ama- it's amazing how many conversations <laughs> that will shut down. It's like, well, I just want you to take a look at it. I'm like, yeah, you are asking uh-huh. for my professional opinion right. as a professional. This is work. Pay me. Yeah. But <laughs> you're, you're supposed to just fall for the, like, <laughs> come on, man. No, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe, maybe 10 years ago, Jordan. No. Senior <laughs> Jordan doesn't give a shit anymore. <laughs> hey, if you're looking to save some money, we can probably help you out because I heard the horse was even able to pick one up. I mean, the horse has got the last one and now he's just lording it over the rest of us. It's the Steam Update. Hey, the horse button worked. Horse button did work. Did you guys get the echo? I believe I I did not hear the echo. No, you guys shouldn't hear echo. Yeah. All right. It's on the stream. It's like parallel audio. I think everything should be good. What are we talking about? Ladies and gentlemen, that's right. You, this old deck, certified refurbished Steam decks. For the low, low price of Get Rack, they're out of stock. Uh, <laughs> out of stock. Well, the, the cheapest two are out of stock. <laughs> yeah, well, like, day, day one, the 64 gigs were gone. And then, yep. like, in the in the next two days, all the 256s were gone. So now, now all that's left is the 512. But it's still a pretty good discount. 519. So when these come back in stock, 64 gigs for 319, uh, 256 for 419. And uh, 512, which is still in stock, which is, yeah, again, not a bad deal. $519. So that's 80 bucks off your regular price for your 64 gig model. And they've, and uh, no, they've underwent 74 tests, which makes me like, I want to send an email. I'm like, hey, well, how much you charge me if like, you only do like 64 tests on it? Like, <laughs> yeah, it could work out. You know, how much for a real, right? Yeah, but the, 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 the problem there is those last four text, tests are like, is the screen still attached to the Steam Deck? So they just give you. <laughs> They just give you like a chassis with no monitor attached to it. I want so the, my first thought was like 319 bucks. I'm like, what? Like everyone, I'm like, what did they go for and used, used on eBay? And I, I popped over to eBay and like right when this announcement, I was able to capture that right then averaging what they were selling for were between uh, 320 and uh, 350 bucks. Mm-hmm. So between 320, 350 bucks, I'm like, this is going to, and if they, Managed to fix the supply problem. This is going to decimate the used market mm-hmm. on eBay. Like you're going to have to like beat 319. So you're definitely. I'm going to say within the next three or four months, possibly five, five time you get to deal with that, you're going to be able to get a 64 gig used deck 
on eBay probably for like sub 200 bucks. And like, the, the, I mean, even, even then, like going through Valve means that it goes through the QA process that is oh, right. certified. Mm-hmm. So like, yeah, I, I mean, the, the, the peace of mind there of just like, if, if they ship you the reefer model and it's like, no, you sent me a busted one, they'll send you a new one because mm-hmm. like, yeah. Um, so it, 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 it I, I was, I was, I was surprised to find out cause I'm like, does, does. Uh, does Microsoft or Sony or Nintendo, do they offer refurbished consoles? Because this seems like something that might be the domain of, say, your GameStops or whatever. Uh, Microsoft, uh, turns out, does will, will sell you a refurbished Xbox. Uh, Sony will only sell you refurbished controllers. But, uh, I, I mean, reduce e-waste, all that, all that good stuff. So, yeah, congratulations to everyone who managed to grab a 256 or 64 gig one. Yeah, yeah. good job. <laughs> The two five six refurbished is twenty pounds more than the brand new sixty four gig one. It's a damn good deal, and that's precisely why that's gone yeah. now too. <laughs> yeah, I mean it makes sense though. But Pedro, should we start a countdown timer for the first one to show up that hasn't been properly wiped, and somebody's like, "Hey, new uh, Steam games all of a sudden." Yeah, man. someone what, forgot what? to wipe the SSD, and you got access to someone else's library. Oh God, so much hentai! <laughs> Why is the Steam Deck sticky? <laughs> oh no, it's crusty. Yeah, no, you'd think that you know is this going back to Valve themselves yeah, you, that they would just you, you wipe send it? that support ticket, and they're like, "We'll send you another." I'm like, "Fuck no, send me another one." Yeah, I don't. I don't. Can can you send it back? I don't want to touch this any more than I need to. Can you send me like a hazmat thing? Or, yeah. <laughs> Do you want to come and collect it from my place? You have my address, so yeah. just you know. Yeah, come can, on. You, you mind sending me some sterilized tongs and like a sealed bag or something? I can put this in. For now, like well, I'm, I'm keeping it on the ceiling. It's fine. It stays there. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I, it stays put, right? Like right. that's a, that's how sticky it is. I'll just run back. Like you, you know, I have to catch it first. Yeah. But uh, yeah, turn, turn. But if you can't get your hands on a on a cheap Steam Deck, maybe maybe you just want to take your your fate into your own hands. And the folks at Linux Servers uh, uh, I've, they they've they've done something. So they've they've taken an image of SteamOS and they have turned it into a Docker image, so that you can run SteamOS within Docker. Um, it it only currently works with AMD and Intel iGPUs because you need to pass like the dev dry device over. And it, I, it, I don't, I don't know. It uses VNC, which is quite strange. I guess it's good for like playing turn-based games, um, or if you're just going to use it as a hub for game streaming. If you just want to like have have a server with all your games on it, and you just want to like stream the games over the network, this is something that's going to be useful. Uh, one caveat though is that they don't have the storage stuff working quite properly. So every time you restart the container, you're going to have to re-authenticate with Steam, even if you have like a persistent volume setup. So that's that's less than convenient. This is this is interesting. I there there are definitely some use cases for it, but like there, there's def, there's definitely a big old you did this just to see if you could. There's no like actual <laughs> reason for this. <laughs> I fully support this. I, it, yeah, no, if you have a big honking server already with the Radeon Pro and whatever you can do, the uh, DRI mapping from inside the Docker container to the hardware. Yeah, might as well use it there. <laughs> yeah if you really want to play some steam games on your work machine and you're like oh no i'm running it i'm running a docker application you guys i'm not i'm not playing games <laughs> uh, don't, it's a docker don't, don't, container don't, trust me <laughs> don't try and you know what actually i'm curious try someone try to run this on docker for mac and tell me how that goes <laughs> oh man uh like is there any like practice this, this is just because of fucking code right uh, pr- pretty pretty much like if 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 you for whatever reason want to like not i i guess i guess if your only alternative is to run chimera os as a desktop operating system maybe you could consider something like this i mean chimera you could probably do it don't use hollow iso though. Hollow, sorry hollow <laughs> iso that's that's the one i was thinking of my bad why do you want to throw hollow iso under the bus man i mean it's perfectly fine like just because some unless you're an XDA knuckle. developer yeah. uh, article well, writer yes yeah <laughs> listen, listen i'm trying to edit my spreadsheets and make my powerpoint presentations and hollow iso is not helping me at any point <laughs> yeah i mean listen i've been screaming cortana at it for like hours and nothing yeah Maybe if it's I even maybe if I try Siri. Oh, did Microsoft <laughs> finally retire Cortana? Yes. Yeah. The, the, they're introducing. Um, is it I don't weapon know now? What the AI one is called, but yeah, they're introducing the AI one. 
Yeah, well, well, that, that's that's the thing though. Like they they made some false promises with that Halo series because if Cortana can't sexually service you, what is the point of your Windows computer? <laughs> and why did those USB ports look so appealing? <laughs> uh, all right. Next let's story. Talk- Next story, yeah. Let's, let's, talk, let's talk about Proton Experimental. They fixed the bug that I was getting into in Baldur's Gate 3, where uh, you would get an annoying little pop-up. Uh, it was mildly inconveniencing. Um, this, again, with any sort of Proton Experimental update, you gotta do the the git changelog diff to see what actually has changed, because they can't just be mm-hmm. like, hey, version released here has these changes. Um, there's also a couple fixes to make UE4 games crash less on Intel iGPUs, some better controller hot plug, uh, support. Cause sometimes if you plugged in a controller, it wouldn't automatically get detected by your game. And yeah, a, cu- a couple other things for like local lands, age of wonders, uh, game specific fixes, all that good stuff. Yeah. They, they fixed, uh, for people playing the Ubisoft games, there was an issue with Ubisoft connect on the few recent updates. That's been fixed with experimental, and uh, if you're playing Ratchet and Clank with NVIDIA, and all of a sudden the game stopped working, the, they've disabled the NVIDIA API uh, integration now, so it, it, Proton just keeps lying and says, no, no, that NVIDIA card, that's an AMD one, and the game runs just fine, so there's that. I do want to throw a little bit of warning. If you're uh, running Proton Experimental Bleeding Edge, you've had a rough week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't run the bleeding edge right now. Just normal experiments. I, I, I normally have bleeding edge at least enabled for a game or two because I don't mess around with experimental too much. But it's been like twice this week. I like click hit play and it's like, nope. Just right <laughs> back to the play button. I, I never turn on bleeding edge just because like proton experimental most of the time is the default proton version I select. So mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I, I would like it to work. But like, yeah, if, if you really need to test that one thing for sure. Right. Yeah, they actually fixed mod support for the OG Resident Evil 4. That, that was one thing I noticed and kind of relevant because there's the uh, Resident Evil uh, bundle going on on Humble right now. Mm. None of them are Linux native, but they all work with Proton. And if you wanted to play our, uh, the original RE4 with RE4 Tweak, which gives you proper mouse aiming, uh, then you kind of want that mod. And it works properly with Experimental now, too. So very good. <laughs> that's great i like to live this adventure man I think even the experimental stuff is usually pretty safe to play with and you know i'm always the main reason i'm trying i'm waiting for one update that will eventually make trek mania 2020 like not run like poo mm. mm-hmm. in my system one day one day <laughs> interesting thing we got coming up next this is not like so it's a little bit out of our wheelhouse but i was like this is this is pretty cool because it's reverse engineered man Oh yeah, this is uh, the update for the uh, Valve resource format, which is a uh, util- suite of utilities for unpacking Valve uh, Source 2 game assets. Uh, there's like a script decompiler, there's a visual element decompiler, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, this is the 5.0 release. They've done the Kaioken version times 10 thing. It used uh, the old versioning used to be like not point whatever. They everything is so the old version was like not point four. Now they've just changed it so everything is going forward is going to be like 5.0, 6.0, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And with this comes some breaking changes. You're going to need OpenGL 4.6 or Bust. Um, they added stuff uh, for like rendering improvements, like better light maps and cloth shading, all that stuff. Uh, uh, F11 will switch you into full screen mode. There's set ops, get ops buttons, all kinds of stuff that are really, really handy if you're poking around in game assets. Uh, yeah. All reverse engineered. Yeah, it is. I mean, you know, Valve's two source, which I didn't realize until I was reading this. You know, I've known of this thing's existence, but I've never looked at it really. Yeah, is, this, uh, this, this is from the Steam DB guys, right? Yep. And you know, it's it's a re- resource uh, parser, you know, decompiler, exporter, all that. Reverse engineered because I didn't realize this. Valve has not released an SDK for Source Two yet. Mm. <laughs> I, I guess that makes sense. It's just what Dota and I guess CS2. CS Go supposedly when CS Go 2 comes out. Yeah. Mm. I don't know. And, I thought uh, that was strange. Oh, and, uh, Artifact. Artifact was the only other uh, source. Yeah. What ever happened to Artifact? Uh, it died. They, they, it just didn't. It didn't oh, did succeed. they officially like can it? Can it? Yeah. I, I, think, I, I, I thought think last like, I heard about it, it was like, we're going to work on it and rework shop it. And, yeah, I, I, I think I think I think it's either Ledead or they they did like the hey it's free to play now sort of thing. It's like, the community uh, thing. If the community wants to do it, I think. Ah oh, man, I bet having an SDK <laughs> for that would be handy. 
Yeah. Wouldn't it just? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, it, it's still it's still up on Steam. You can install it. It's free to play. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's it, it it's still up. Artifact Foundry. Um. Oh yes. Okay. So they just give you they just gave you all the cards. You can just like build your decks and, okay. and play them. Yeah. Okay, Jordan. Pedro, I don't want anybody to uh, cheat. How many people are playing the game right now? Um, Two. <laughs> I was going to say like twenty. <laughs> uh, let, let's uh, let's say in the past twenty-four hours, how many people? Where do you, where do you think it peaked at? Uh, the past twenty-four hours, it peaked at about sixteen people. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll go. I'll go ten. Ten. Okay, artifact. Now, this is for Artifact Classic, which I'm assuming is Artifact, yeah. right? Yeah. More than you'd think. 189. <laughs> okay. What, what, what about Artifact Foundry, which is the, the free-to-play, every, uh, everything free? Oh. Uh, right. Well, I clearly searched for Artiface, so good on you. Um. <laughs> good on you, Google. You know what Steam we're Steam Charts was like, no, close enough. There you go. <laughs> you All know right. what we're talking about. Here we go. Here we go. Art- the, Art so, attacked. So here's the numbers that you might think. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. That, so so the, the 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 128 people or whatever. Those are people who like actually spent their money on artifact cards and are like, God they care about it. the game. I'm, yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. I, I'm gonna get my money's worth. Damn it. And oh, but dude, what happened in August? I like got up to 11 players. So someone invited their friend over to an artifact party. I guess. I guess. You know what? Free is better. Than one million dollars, yeah. Because you know, if you don't have a good game, you can try to drum up some publicity the other ways. Uh, so yeah, uh, there was a Steam game that for a while this week was charging one million dollars for it. Spooky Men. I keep wanting to call it Spooky Boys because that sounds a lot better. <laughs> but Spooky Men was listed current at uh, nine hundred ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents US on Steam. It is no longer that. Right now, I think on in Canada it's down to about 250 bucks. Um and it is um it's like uh phasmophobia or whatever where it, it it's a, it's an asymmetrical ghost hunting game where you can hunt ghosts. Oh, they got me. God damn it. I thought that would be oh. the I, I was playing find the actual link to the source. No, no. You can't play uh Pharonix's find the actual source because they all link back to themselves. <laughs> yeah, this this, this this is this is game rants. They're, the, somehow the the journalistic standards are below that of Pharonix. Amazing. <laughs> um but but yeah, uh, uh yeah, I I ended up just looking it up on Steam cuz yeah, I can't find the fucking link. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Spooky spooky men. Uh well, it's 167 euros currently or pounds, 167.99 pounds. Yeah. And it looks very unreal slash Unity ghetto. I'm not no. sure which. Like the bl- motion blur and the the way that the uh, the lens flare is uh done. It screams unreal. Okay, but Pedro, those... Mateus, I have to ask you a question then. Mm-hmm. Does this look better and worse than the uh, trailer for the new South Park game? <laughs> worse. <laughs> g- 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 you know what? Given the budget, I would say this is on par. Um, but uh, So the, 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 the reviews, they're listed as mostly positive, but all the fucking reviews are fucking trolls, man. Like, oh, it's the greatest game ever. I'm rich, motherfucker. Yeah, first, first review is I'm rich. Um, mm-hmm. the, um, a little bit of backstory to this, if I read it correctly, uh, cause I was reading and when this initially came out through the Reddit thread, apparently this was uh, on sale, like initially for like 70 cents. Mm, right. Yeah. Ah, so you grab it on sale before it goes back yeah. up to a million. <laughs> oh, I mean, initially before this <laughs> ah. stunt, I mean, Hey man, your stunt work. We're talking about it. Absolutely. Right. No, th- there's no such thing as bad publicity, right? That's, ah. you know what? Like, I don't want anybody to fuck with a guy and abuse the refund system. <laughs> <laughs> so, who has, who, can, uh, if you have a, a $999,999 credit limit, I want to be your friend. To just and piss off. Yeah. <laughs> can, can we, can we hang out? I, I want to be an emotional you. roller coaster. Like, you did that gag, then you're like, oh, you get the, uh, oh, I, and just wait, 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 like, two How days. many? How many air miles would you get from that shit? <laughs> Before doing the refund. Uh, it's still under right. $99, so you can still do this, but to, to a lesser effect. And I'm yeah. sure at this point, that there, there's no original thoughts. I'm sure he's been dealing with that constantly. 
Oh, pro- pro- 100%. 100%. So, uh, but it, it's, it's a fun little goof, though. It is. We thought we'd give it a mention. Let's go from a $200 game to a free-to-play game. And uh, I'm talking about Extreme Tag is another new game. This one is Linux native, and it's got trains without wheels. It's got planks and uh, people with really bad lag, I guess. Explosive Entertainment presents Extreme Tag, casual party game. You run from tag players and you stay alive. That's it. It's it's tag, yeah. But it's got speed lines. <laughs> so fast. <laughs> yeah, it's got speed lines and it's got uh, download today. Is it <laughs> at the top of the yeah. screen? <laughs> I, I will say though, given that the last couple like free to play games that had like a like a pay for customization thing, mm-hmm. this is not using the same interface, which is refreshing. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. But this like, is using the Steam interface. Yes, yeah, so the, 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 the 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 stumble guys. The stumble and, guys and the, is so. And, and the bomberman. The, the bomberman. Stumble guys. The I swear one. to fuck, stumble guys is like the uh, the hyper aggressive panhandler that gets up in your shit trying to get right. a buck, right? <laughs> Hey, you want to buy this? It's only 99 cents. Oh, did you click on a button buy something? No, no. Did take you it, back out? Oh, have you have you stood still for have you not clicked on anything for five minutes? Here's pop-up. some pop-ups. Go yeah, click on some shit. <laughs> uh yeah, it's completely free to play. It's all cosmetic. Uh download it. Well, I was thinking like we might be able to get around to this in the after show. Not tonight, man. We got two we got games stocked on top of games this week. But uh we'll, we'll try it. for choice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We'll give it a try. I wanted to give it a mention. You know, anytime somebody releases a Linux game and, you know, it's online PvP because, you know, you can't put multiplayer in your games, big AAA publishers, because it's too hard. No, absolutely not. Mm-hmm. And notice, <laughs> notice, I didn't even say good. <laughs> like, we get better content if your multiplayer is a bit janked up. So, good news, everybody. Uh, Overwatch. Overwatch 2! Val it's has on a, Steam. Ben, ben has a <laughs> Battle.net account, we found out. Goddamn right. Like, yes. <laughs> yeah, no, you, you probably peasants. saw oh, it. your Battle.net accounts. You forget. <laughs> Everyone saw it. Overwatch 2, oh, first Blizzard game in I don't know how many years uh, to actually release on Steam. Uh, and uh, you probably also saw that of the 88,000... Universally uh, loved. 339 oh wait no <laughs> let me refresh there's probably more now there we go 88,772 reviews universally only... loved nine <laughs> percent of them are positive it's it's gotten worse that ratio has been getting <laughs> progressively worse <laughs> can can they get over 90,000 we'll find out Oof coming very close now <laughs> why did i bring how much does it cost to play overwatch 79.96 so uh but at least you didn't buy overwatch one so you don't have to buy it a second time yeah you didn't spend uh 40 or 50 dollars on the first overwatch only to then have this game dumped on you uh and the you other one taken away negative <laughs> nancy's always hating on stuff I'm, we're gonna focus on the positive reviews i can, I can now, now uninstall metal <laughs> I masturbated to a lot of food form based on this game. Recommend, <laughs> highly recommend. Okay, fa- fair, fair, fair enough. <laughs> the porn makes up a terrible game. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, you know what they tried. They tried. Uh, and here's the thing: Overwatch, not my jam, not my jam. But I know at least one of you in the audience is like, yes. And I went and checked it on um, Proton DB Platinum. Which mm-hmm. means whatever you want it to mean. It, you know, platinum means what it means to you in here. But I, I had to try it out. It was like 35 gigajoules to download. I ran it with Proton 8, NVIDIA. Eggy, Eggy was doing a lot of work back in the day when it came out to uh, yeah, to get that even running. before. Well, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so so it, it's it's good to see that like some of that stuff at least made it to upstream Proton. Uh, no problems. Like yeah. just out of the box it runs and performance is incredibly good even on my 3060 and uh yeah okay yeah fair enough it's got a handful of negative reviews <laughs> just, just a, a, a small vocal min- minority right? yeah i mean what's what's Only 80, about 80, 000. 80 000 negative reviews between <laughs> friends i mean it's, it's a rounding error. i, I rounding mean like error. If, if you think about it there's like eight billion people on the planet that's mm-hmm. yeah it's not it's not even anything right and uh the other thing is, is like if you look up, um, I, I you see all the negative reviews, then you pull it up on Steam charts, and like seventy five thousand people are playing it. Oh yeah, 
Got got the big old hate boner for it. Uh, absolutely. So th th there's a lot of people leaving the negative reviews. Some of them only have like a couple hours, or I would I would hour. say more than some. And considering, yes, but there are also the people that have like 200 hours already when the game came out. There hasn't been 200 hours a since it's released. <laughs> it released two days ago. <laughs> yeah, no, but you can see like people have more than um, the not point one or not point two hours that the uh, admittedly the majority of them have. But there are negative reviews that have quite a few hours on the game. Like seven? And they say it's like, OK, I've been playing the game even before uh, it came out on Steam and then they go into the spiel as to why it is that bad. So I, I'm Does inclined it, to believe those people. <laughs> I don't, I don't, th I don't think it would sync your playtime in between your battle net and your, uh, probably not. No, it doesn't. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm just trying to correct shit. <laughs> and I'm like, I think the maximum you could have is like maybe like 31 hours in this game at this yeah. point. It's it's a, it's a slightly different, you know, just it's just a handful off beta from like two hundred. <laughs> I was exaggerating to make a point. Yes, <laughs> there's no room for hyperbole on Linux games. None. <laughs> Absolutely none at all. Speaking of someone was being hyperbolic on the internet. How dare you? <laughs> yes. Speaking of, we got uh, we got game updates for one of the most hyperbolic games in history. Very much so, and you've probably played it. It's Broforce. Bro it's uh, supposedly the final update uh, to end all updates. I look forward to the hotfix. Uh, it's Broforce Forever. It's the new major update, and it's available now. It's free if you already have the game. Uh, if you didn't have the game, um, how could you? It's been on several Humble Bundles now. Uh, but it was down to like 20% of the original price uh, the on the eighth baby with the Tommy gun. That's when good. the, um, when the update actually released. So yeah, it is, it does a couple of new things. There's a uh, new bros, obviously it's, <laughs> it's bro force. Uh, there's uh, a couple of uh, new levels and a couple of new baddies. So it's, yeah, it, it, it's just more bro force. It's more, good. Yeah. Well, so the, 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 we got the list of characters earlier when they when they did the announcement. You got Bruffy, you got Brundlefly, you got American Sniper, and you got Sylvester Stallone, Bit Demolition Man. Uh, of the new of the new levels, they added a bunch of like challenge modes for Indiana Brones, and that lets you unlock the new flexes. And after watching that, I just want to do some bench press. Fuck. I don't know, like, uh, <laughs> Seth Brundle, uh, <laughs> Brundlefly, I love Brundle. it, man. Yeah, he's more gold bloom. We're definitely going to be messing around with this in the after show. So, do you think, uh, we do need one update to this, because we need Gribble, bro. Oh, yes, pocket sand. The government finally got <laughs> to Mr. Dale Gribble. He, he, yeah, he, he's, he's throwing sand they in took God's him eyes now. Yeah. yeah. There will be an answer, Pocket Sand. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, I'm happy to see that. Uh, we'll be playing the after show. We were talking about it in the pre-show. It's, like, it's just pixelated chaos. It's fun. Yeah. You, you, you don't have to worry about doing well in multiplayer because no one can tell no. what the fuck is going on. Nope. Nope. Uh, is you, do you shoot? Do you wiggle the thing? Does your camera move? No, you're dead. <laughs> yeah, right. That's how you know you're done. You're like... <laughs> yeah. You, you've, been, you've been playing the wrong character for 20 minutes mm -hmm. and like mm -hmm. still still somehow you've managed to advance. Yeah. <laughs> Little brother, the controller is not plugged in. That, that'll happen. That'll oh, legitimately yeah. happen. Oh, man. I, I mean, I've legitimately probably spent 30, 45 seconds like, wait, that's not my character. Oh. <laughs> it, yeah, somehow you're miraculously still alive, too. Yeah, uh, so, so, somehow, like, the boss is still halfway dead. You're like, I, I was just pressing buttons. What was what's going on? Oh, man. Uh, let's talk about a new Beth Mastered release, Quake 2. That's what I actually uh, played, and I very much enjoyed the uh, the time I spent playing the the new re-release of Quake Two. Yes, uh, made by the um, Night Dive and Machine Games peeps that made the original um, the uh, the remaster. Twenty Twenty One Ice Skating Champions. The, yeah. the, 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 yes. the original <laughs> remake remaster. Of the the re original remaster of the original Quake. Yes. Uh, and yeah, it is, uh, it's, it's just Quake 2, but, uh, it has quite a few graphical improvements and, uh, quite a few unnecessary ones, but hey, you know, in the name of accessibility, by all means, 
uh, let more people enjoy the game that you already enjoy playing. That's that's no, a good no, thing, no. in my opinion. See, this is <laughs> what they need. They need to have a on screen right here at the bottom of the screen where it's just a digital contrast button like we used to have on fucking uh, CRTs because that was the accessibility <laughs> no, the, option back the, in the, the day. What, the, the, yes. the, 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 the wheel? Yeah, mm-hmm. just where I can dial that shit. Be like, what? I can't fucking see that. No, I can. Yeah. Oh, I yeah, need a light and- source for this level? No, I don't. <laughs> On top of uh, all the very good to have uh, accessibility options and graphical options, you also have literally all of the content. Everything that was ever officially released for uh, Quake 2 is available here, including uh, Quake 2 64, which you can now play on PC hmm? without Are having you- to emulate the N64. Um, <laughs> how much does this update <laughs> cost? It's free if you oh. already have the game. So it turns out I didn't. Not right. <laughs> Jordan didn't. <laughs> I'm kind of happy. Uh, you know, this, uh, admittedly, this is another fan-made Quake game. And, like, uh, does, the, does it have the ice skate movement? Not not as obvious. Not as obvious. Okay. Uh, again, we, we should have some time to play, or at least, you know, give this one a little quick sniff test in the after shows, and then I'll be able to have a better opinion about it. But... As with, you know, the reason no one really got terribly bit out of shape about the first one, because they left the original in place. So if you just want to play OG Quake 2 or N64 Quake 2, all that's in there. The one thing these do, outside of just like, this one just runs out of the box with Proton. There's a reason we're talking about this too. So stick with us. If you're like, you're talking about another Windows game, trust me, this has got a B-side to it. Stick around. Oh yeah. Is what they've done for multiplayer with these. It is, mm-hmm. there is no more setting up servers, no digging around IP addresses, trying to get, no, you, you just pull up your overlay and go, you, 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 you let's go. They, they, they do have, they do have cross play and they do have uh, cross PC to console cross play. But if you're on PC, you got to use the controller. They're like, no, nah, uh-uh, no keyboard and mouse for you. You're not allowed your unfair advantage. <laughs> you got to, you got to suffer. You got to slum it with the rest of these guys. I would rather not play if I had to play quick with a controller. You know what? Even if everybody's playing with a controller, I'll do it. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, the, and th- th- that seems fair, right? Like, yeah. Except for the one motherfucker who's got his keyboard plugged into an emulator mm-hmm. that makes it look the, like a controller. The, the, the people who are just uh, absolutely cheating their asses off by plugging in a mouse and keyboard to the PS5. Uh, well, yeah. well, it's uh, <laughs> Xbox 360 CE. It's like, ah, oh, yeah, it's my Xbox controller. That's mm-hmm. totally just my. That's totally just my keyboard and mouse. <laughs> we can lie to it. Yeah, we're hey, we're on Linux, man. Yeah, lying right. is what <laughs> lying to operating systems and software is what we do. Like, just trust me, bro. Anti-micro? No. Is, is that the thing? <laughs> that you can bind yeah. controller inputs to keys? It's true. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, let's switch gears into the news because uh, Intel do, did a thing this week. Do, 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 do. Big Brother is watching you, yeah. Uh, big, big, big old Raja, he's uh, creeping into your house and looking Raja's at gone, your... baby. He's back. He's, oh. back just to, he's back to creep on you. Uh, no, but uh, Intel, their um, graphical control center, uh, basically the, the software that you install on Windows to uh to manage your driver settings and so on yeah it turns out it has telemetry on and was uh sending details back to intel and that caused a bit of a kerfuffle uh and then intel was like uh came back and they're like hey you remember that giant pop-up that showed up when you installed the graphics drivers that said that you need to opt into this stuff yeah it turns out you ignored that um so Yes, it turns out, it, at least for now, it was opt-in. It may not have been opt-in when this thing was originally installed, but Intel is sticking to this whole, you had to, they, they did give you big scare text to make sure that you are sending your telemetry. Uh, and yeah, uh, that, that, that that's kind of it. This does not affect us under Linux because mm-hmm. our drivers don't require graphical user interfaces. Nay, they reject Yet. them outright. <laughs> reject them outright. Um. <laughs> What do we think, though? Because, uh, you know, I, I say yet, kind of like grinning and joking a little bit, but like there's nothing to stop Intel or NVIDIA. Like one of the saving things about uh, NVIDIA on Linux is like there's no GeForce email loggy. Download the damn drivers and install them. You're done with it. No, yeah, we've been using the same configuration software for 20 fucking years. Right. It still has that CRT yeah. on you know, it. We got like that the... CRT. You do not take away my CRT. Um, <laughs> now, really, when I think about this, because I mean, there's nothing preventing like technically like for to have this like in the uh, YOLO when you install the Intel binary drivers. If you're running the Mesa stack, you're fine. That's never going to yep. be in there. The advantage of open source. But I'm surprised they weren't doing this from day one, especially with a new GPU, new architecture, trying to figure out how to write drivers. 
yeah, like it certainly it, it, explains it, why it took that long to get the drivers up to snuff. <laughs> I, and I, I mean, it it, do, it does make perfect sense, and also like probably people aren't running into this because the let's let's be real, Intel uh, market penetration for their GPUs is not the greatest. But again, it is their first. Well, I mean, this is going to be useless because if yeah. you feel like you've learned from Fedora, if it's not <laughs> mandatory on. Oh, yeah, yes. absolutely. If it's not opt out, then it's completely useless. Fedora. Mm-hmm. Intel is doing it opt in. What's your excuse? <laughs> I don't, I don't want to. I, I want my telemetry. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's weird times. Now, if I had a 770, uh, I'd opt in for telemetry. To like, I, I do that like on Debian boxes. Like, if you ask me, and I'm like, hmm, er. like, yeah, when you do the first install, it's like, do you want to send the uh, telemetry data just to see mm-hmm. what kind of packages and everything else you've installed and what kind of system you're running? Yeah, I do that. I do that yeah. on the 32 bit only uh, netbooks. Now, if I because find I out want this after the fucking <laughs> fact, like Unity, <laughs> I, I scorched earth your ass, man. Like, there, there's no connections between this house and Unity servers anymore. We took care of that on the router. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, telemetry is good and I always make it opt in. Like Debian's got a thing and Debian's like, hey, you, you want to like send in some anonymized data? Like if you don't, just click next, like fuck off, yeah. whatever. And uh, yeah, I'd love to. But then again, would you be really be running the binary stack? But then, ah, I got so many questions about the Intel card. Well, and and it's like, there, there's <laughs> not even much, much of a binary stack. It's just all the quick sync stuff, right? Like, uh, it's dude, not- it's the entire compute stack, homie. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Like yeah. it's not just QuickSync anymore. Now there's the okay. GPU compute that is actually it makes sense because Wiggles, it's a dedicated GPU it. now. Mm. <laughs> right, right. So, so that has all the XCSS stuff. Yeah. Or, uh, okay. Or whatever they have names for it, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You had to download the entire like Intel SDK even for just getting QuickSync set up. But up like for, for for like 3D acceleration and shit, you don't need it, right? For fucking like, video games, probably not. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Cool. Now, the real B reason side. we were talking about Quake 2. Yeah. The, the, this is a side B. <laughs> uh, yeah. This is the reason I wanted to bring it up, man. Also, you, you, no, this is side you gotta, Q. You got to pause, pause the YouTube video and flip the record over. Oh, oh wait. Man, I had a laser disc player and I had one of those broke ass lasers. You had to stop halfway through the movie and flip the bitch because I couldn't afford <laughs> yeah. one that had a reader of both sides, man. <laughs> ah, yeah. I, I mean, those lasers are expensive, dude. Goddamn. Uh, Quake 2 release here's the source code bitches there it is uh the game code for the 2023 release the one we were just talking about to which a lot of us just went huh huh well well, it does it does make a wee bit of sense because the og was dropped uh on github uh with uh, gpl 2.0 which is what uh this is licensed as so the entire the entire night i've port saved the assets are uh, are fully GPL 2.0 as well, which I think is a pretty dope move. Like I did not see this coming from from the Night Dive people. Uh, they, cer- I mean, GPL means they certainly had to do it. You know, but you, yeah, they like, didn't have to do it. They, right? like, yeah, they could have made it a pain in the ass. But you know, Night Dive's mm-hmm. whole thing is like, hey, we're preserving games, and like I'm sure they don't talk like that, but like that's like one of their marketing things, like helping preserve old games. Is like, well, how about realizing the fuck mother and source code? Then like. <laughs> Yeah, all right. That would be a bad lens if we didn't. So here it is. Go play with it. Doesn't contain any assets. And um, it claims to have been tested with Kling. So theoretically, you get this up and build it. We can get a Linux version of this. And uh, yeah, it's, it's the game code. It's not the game engine. So Yeah. Uh, no, uh, I, it, I want, uh, now that this is a thing, uh, John Romero has been talking, or there's been some rumors about the Daikatana remake. So you know, Daikatana re- uh, remaster confirmed. Maybe come on, do John. we want <laughs> do it? So <laughs> won't make it any better though. Do we want do we want the Daikatana remaster, or do we want him to take another crack at it? Oh fuck, do both we- of you. Now I got a real question. Can, can can we run Visual Studio 19 2019 and one? Let's find out, motherfuckers. <laughs> can, can you can, run can, it in can, wine? Can we build the Windows <laughs> executable? Using why? <laughs> Maybe only, only one way to find out. Rohit. Yeah, so for somebody else to do it. Um, yeah, <laughs> I, I mean, R- Rohit has is the experienced person with like digging through old shooter codes. So I, I volunteer him. It's all here. I mean, listen, <laughs> this this thing is uh, it, it doesn't stop. Like we're still going. We're still going. We're still yeah, going. It's not it, stopping. It is a long Hold ass your breath. Right. 
So like, yeah, yeah, that's the game logic. They they explain the game logic in the read me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and and uh, what what is nice is they give you the original version and the new version, so you can compare contrast, which is very handy. Uh, so you can see how they did it, which again, good for good for preservation stuff. Yeah, it's yes, su- su- surprising. And uh, engine and game code night dive only had uh, has only, yeah, that's a, I believe that's what I said, wasn't it? Yeah. Yes, uh, the, yes, that is the game code. The the, the repository the that we're looking at yes. is the game source, ah. not the engine source. <laughs> Pedro, how old were you in 1995? In 1995, I was uh, seven, because you're two seven years older than or eight, <laughs> eighty six. So uh, nine, eight, nine. Eight. Oh, yeah, you're, no, you're three years older than me. Never mind. Yeah, <laughs> I just turned fifteen or fourteen. <laughs> I was six. <laughs> oh shit! So you had only yeah, developed like one or two nine, like so drug yeah. addictions by that time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what happened? A, a strange thing happened. There we were, just minding our own businesses at different ages, and this fucking thing came out called a PlayStation. We're like, oh, I and want then, that. Um, and then Eiffel sixty five released their song, my my <laughs> console, about all the games on PlayStation. PlayStation was a magical thing around the time. Now I fucked up and bought the 32X. And after that I was done. But I, I wanted a PlayStation, but I'm like, nah, I got the Mega Drive, you know, I got all this Sega hardware, you know, it was my team. I don't know about I mean, this. I mean, back then Sega was the safe bet. Like, who the hell is these are these Sony people, they, they, right? They, they, like, we knew they, they Sony know was, but like what the fuck did they know about yeah. Making a game console. It was like when Microsoft like, we're going to make an Xbox. And we're like, oh, okay. Yeah, I know. It's like, no, they're not going to dethrone Nintendo mm-hmm. and, and Sega. They're going to be around forever. No, we, totally- we got the Sony PlayStation because <laughs> Nintendo allowed it to happen. Because Nintendo <laughs> couldn't prevent themselves Nintendo from Nintendoing. <laughs> they, they, they decided to cheat on Sony with Philips, and that's how we got the PlayStation. Right. They, they did some spite move and like b- fucked up their agreement. And like Sony's like, Fuck you back. All right, let's, uh, so, point of this is one of the games that came out in 1995 with your PlayStation. It's something I think everyone listening to the sound of Pedro's voice would know. And that game's Wipeout. Yeah. It has been <laughs> Wipeout. emulated, cloned, spiritual success a billion times in a million ways. But there's no replacement for that OG version. And fortunately for us, um, the source was kind of leaked back in 2022, Jordan. A little bit, yeah. And uh, in- intentionally, or at least at least the, the person who's working on this is like, yes, this was intentional, or at least that's what I choose to believe. Yeah, no, uh, the Psygnosis accidentally released the uh, PlayStation um, source. Yes. <laughs> Dominic took it as a challenge, and we now have a rewritten code base that works not only on Linux, but Mac OS, web browsers, and Windows. There it is. <sighs> Thanks to Wasm and WebGL. Yeah, I could click on that and it would probably fuck something up. Um, but I'm not going to mess around with it. it. Honestly, it runs fine. The, the only grab it, I yeah, have it is runs there's, fine no, in the co- browser. <laughs> there's uh, no controller support, which is unfortunate. But. I had a great time. Uh, this is a great read through. All this is going to be in our show notes. This is, uh, you know, when, when he's going back through the code and he's rewriting stuff, it's an adventure to read about because there was, you know, the original, he's just like kind of getting to the uh, roots of where this C project started. And the guy's already a complete psychopath because he's like, oh, look, a project that's all mangled up, not documented in C. Sounds like a good time. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I'm just back out of that room. Uh, but we need people like that because they do cool shit like this. Oh, yeah. And, it's, it- it's a pretty substantial write-up too. Like they uh, originally, the um, the physics were a bit tied to the frame rate, uh, and the guy's like, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and fix this because you know we have we have 60 hertz and 120 hertz monitors, 144 hertz." And then several paragraphs later, it's like, "This may or may not have been a good idea." Mm-hmm. <laughs> there, there's a lot of like oopsie doodle, but I mean, the you've been running on the M2 MacBook right now, um, and Linux rewrote the physics, you know, changing it from 30 FPS. I love this. Going above 30 FPS with the setup was impossible and left me with two options. Still run the physics at 30 FPS and interpolate all object positions at draw time. Okay. Rewrite everything to incorporate the delta time into the physics calculations. Of course, I chose the latter and entered a world of pain. 
<laughs> yeah. Good uh, job. Uh, <laughs> Very yeah, good uh, job. <laughs> Alan does bring up a good point. Uh, this is actually based off of the uh, ATI 3D Rage Edition mm -hmm. uh, source code for this. So it was uh, for the DOS uh, yeah. version of this. And he made it a point of like he could find like the roots of uh, because the code base, it was all from the original code base. It was just built <laughs> on top of each other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it was like, by the time I got to the DOS and it was like, it was clearly handed off to different companies and different teams that had fuck all idea what they were doing. <laughs> it was kind of amazing that it run. And he's like, you can forgive a lot of the original um, TSX code because that was one yeah, of the it, first game. They didn't know what they were doing. I mean, because yeah. the hardware was new, right? Primitive yeah, dev yep. kits. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's not about optimized code. It's, can we get this to run on PlayStation, period? Like, it was, yeah, this brand new thing that just came out. Um, you know, he really was able to shrink the game down to, uh, what did he, the whole source uh, tree lands at about 25 locks right now. That's one fifth the original size. Mm -hmm. Pretty wild, pretty wild. Love to see it. Uh, there's GitHub up. I downloaded it. Files, it's using SDL too. Yep. Which is great. No problems there. Uh, didn't have the assets. I didn't have the assets. And this is, like, well, wipe out 1995. <laughs> Let me, you know, head over to PlayStation, totally legit PlayStation ROMs. Great, PlayStation.com, yeah. Yeah, great, great site. You know, Sony was real happy to sell me a 30 year old game. They're like, oh, yeah, sure, here you go. Unfortunately, we only have it available in the 16 part bin queue. <sighs> the fuck do I do? I mean, this is very close to like my Google search. <laughs> and inside of a stack exchange post, I found the guy without the number one reply pointed me to ROM tool. So I also wanted to give this a mention. If you end up with like multi-part um, ROMs from totally legit PlayStation store or totally legit uh, name, whatever store, this is a very handy tool. For, well, all right, I take that back. This is for PSX ROMs. All right. Uh, yeah. It's like, in curse is menu driven. It's like, hey, I found this thing. You want me to make a thing from it? A single bin queue? Done. Then, all you have to do is go, has it legitimately been over a decade since I've used B-Chunk? Yes, it has. <sighs> then you run B-Chunk and you make that, you make an ISO, then I mounted the ISO, then I got the SS folder and I put it in and I launched and it said press enter to start. I didn't, it crashed to the desktop. <laughs> <laughs> Zero scripts. <laughs> See, um, if you want to skip all of that, you just scroll down to the bottom of the article. There may or may not be a link to the extract. What if my mouse files is broken? I can't make it. <laughs> uh, can you use page down or control yeah, N? Yeah, down arrow broke two weeks ago. <laughs> Read, reading, yeah, reading is uh, hard. Yeah, it, it works. What is there works really well. Uh, there's it's vsync by default, and it actually does vsync properly to um, whatever your monitor can do. So. Good job on the uh, physics. Uh, 144 hertz, no issues. Uh, the um, I do look forward to the um, 2097 re-implementation. That was the one that I played the most, so I, I really, really want to see the community get that up and running on a similar, if not the exact same, uh, open source engine re-implementation. And uh, the control settings, those are kind of a necessity because the default uh, keyboard bindings for... They suck. Uh, yeah. Yeah. They do. <laughs> he was really worried about like messing with the physics, but he says he got it mostly right. And you know, this is this is, strikes me as well, you should do some vanity searches for your project and you might mm -hmm. be watching this part of the video. It's a shame it would be impossible to add online multiplayer to this. Mm -hmm. Oh it's yeah. It's just a no, damn shame. That's never it? happened before. No, can't, probably. can't 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 use the browser version it, to like do hot seat. It, it, it's all, outside no. of people's skill set. Like you'd really have to be good with C in order to do that. And like, I, who are we going to find to do that, man? You, you'd you'd have to be like a sexy, sexy stud with like rippling pecs and like thick abs. Damn shame. All right, that's going to wrap us up for everything. But we got a little bit of hate mail this week. We do, uh, Pedro. How can people write in? Well, there is only one way, and only the one way. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't know why I did that, uh, but uh, the best way to get in touch with us is you go to LinuxGameCast.com and you hit the contact button or just LinuxGameCast.com forward slash contact. Uh, you'll land in the appropriate page with a little... Eh, Not uh, if I put a redirect on it. 
<laughs> you can not, not if I start fucking around with Nginx. Nobody can get anywhere now. <laughs> yeah, the, that that can lead you anywhere. Oh, I could have fun, man. We could do Nginx. Then I could do uh, the WordPress plugin. Then I can hit you with Cloudflare on before you even. Yeah, like, yeah. I, re- I can re- 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 redirect you to S <laughs> three to like some server running on a Raspberry Pi in your garage. Most back to Cloudflare. browsers by default nowadays. Once you get to like three hoops, they mm-hmm. go mm, too many redirects. Nah. <laughs> But yeah, uh, there's a, a, a thing that won't redirect you. It might not even let you submit your thing, but that's because you included URLs and you shouldn't do it. There's a form at the bottom of the page that you should uh, write down uh, your contents. And if you do have to have a URL that you need to send us, there's a mail address. Not not snail mail, but actual email address. Email that you can stuff. just send us a send message us, on. <laughs> send us a postcard with like a floppy to staple to it. Come on. <laughs> Some wrapped in magnets. I don't know, man. Uh, right. Yeah. Hey, uh, if you listen to us on Spotify, anything like that, you got the options to uh, leave us a voicemail message, and those will get played on the show. So that's a warning. Yeah. Keep All right. So speaking of uh, the hate mail, we got we a, li- a couple of weeks ago to like yeah. set the stage on this. Mm-hmm. We just had that, you know, we got involved in that conversation of like, what what's it like to be a, be a new Linux? Yeah, user. like coming into Linux because we, we say this without any ego. We're not capable of fucking answering that question. If you're tuning in, it's like, <laughs> what's it like running Linux? Was like, we've been running Linux for des- decades. Yeah, the the, yeah. the 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 it's it's no longer like a novel experience. No. It's, it's like this, building a you know the difference between like you build a PC you could you could build a PC while watching a movie, mm-hmm. while some people are like everything will explode if I don't give it the most that you know you, you remember well, I don't really remember yeah. building the first PC. It's that type of difference. Yeah. So uh, so Ego writes back in Cracked Ego. Hey, Cracked says, Ego or Eggman yeah. or Ego or whatever. Yeah, he changes egg. his name like every three days. Yes. yes. Some, I just recognize sort of, a little egg. egg thing on Discord. Yeah. It's like, yeah, yes. that's... Keep that's your avatar egg. the same and we can we can converse, <laughs> le, man. Le, 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 yeah. <laughs> le, le says, I, in the last show, Ven asked what it would be like for being a new Linux user in 2023. First step was choosing a distro. I went with Mint purely because I heard Ubuntu was easier on new users for whatever reason, and Mint looked neato. In the time that I've been using solely Linux on my main PC, I've come up with some rules for myself. If I come across something and I don't know what it is, either don't fuck with it or just Google it. Solid advice. Uh, So many people are like, don't follow the basic advice of, if you don't know what it is, don't fucking touch it. But uh, yeah. Uh, Fuck that. I'm going to break it then. I'm going to be like, Linux sucks, man. Pretty much. Uh, yeah, it broke. Uh, All by its I didn't do anything. Yeah. Uh, game doesn't work. Proton DB. There'll be about 20 people with a complete guide to make it work. But Ego, you may ask, how do you configure thing for your audio or choose a window manager or whatever the fuck? An excellent question. I simply don't. I just leave it as default and don't fuck with it. It was literally that easy. And yeah, like, fair, fair enough. You can, humans are pretty adaptable. You can just like get used to a thing, right? You don't have, mm-hmm. Linux gives you the ability to customize everything. But that doesn't mean that you have to. You can just use stock GNOME, stock KDE, stock XFCE on a stock Fedora, Ubuntu, Suze, and you'll have a perfectly reasonable time. Yeah, but I want to fuck with it. Yeah, well, if you want to fuck with 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 it, it, by all means, fuck with it. Linux was very much built from the ground up to be fucked with. So, uh, yeah. (laughs) But I mean, there is something. Break it and learn how to fix it. That's a big one. About (laughs) being able to. Just have a out of the box install being functional for anything that you'd normally do with a computer, right? Yeah. It, nowadays, especially with the you know prominence of the Steam Deck, if you have something with a built-in um, AMD or Intel GPU, you don't need to worry about drivers unless you have a shitty um, no, <laughs> you, Wi-Fi card. You do. Uh, you do because Red Hat and Suze. Don't ship any of the proprietary drivers. Or the See, I was going to get to that. <laughs> so, that, not, not, uh, not, not so much anymore these days, but still, yeah, it, it so is. Avoid the um, blobless uh, or the blobbed distros that remove all of the proprietary blobs from the kernel. That will uh, give you a bad time, but so yeah, what you're most saying distros. Is just install Debian, right? <laughs> you can use Debian because that one still has. Uh, well, they include the firmware now. You don't even need to download the custom firmware image anymore. So, yeah, you can use Debian. Uh, you can use Ubuntu. You can use Mint. You can use Fedora for the most part. Uh, 
you'll probably have to get some third party repos to get Steam working on Fedora, but you know. I'm not hearing no, no, uh, uh, the 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 the, uh, the RPM Fusion Steam uh, third party is, repo. Okay. Yes. Yep. <laughs> they they do give you they do give you a pop up though if you want to mm-hmm. enable it. So that, that again, it's it's not it's not difficult. You can, if if you spend like 20 minutes clicking around, you'll you'll find what you're looking for if you like actually read what the icons say because a lot of times they're just like I clicked on the A and nothing's happening. That's, that's, <laughs> yes. That's, if people actually read and not just do the Linus thing of typing yes, I know what I'm doing when he clearly didn't. Yeah. Re- reading is hard. I didn't hear Arch, <laughs> gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah I, I, we we talked about Steam OS, yeah. Chim- yeah. Chimera OS. That's not Arch, but is it, is it Arch not Arch. Yes, <laughs> and, and Arch. They were very, very adamant. It's like it's not Arch. It's based on Arch, but it's not Arch. <laughs> That's like saying Manjaro is not Arch, and I'm like, bitch. <laughs> it yeah. breaks just as often. So yes, yes, yeah. it is. <laughs> Man, 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 Manjaro is arch with like a inbuilt tutorial. That's that's kind of it. Otherwise, you gotta you gotta look up the tutorial on another screen. Well, Manjaro, Manjaro is what everybody Endeavorous. installs. Endeavorous has been like people who use Endeavorous sing its praises and say that uh, unlike Manjaro, it doesn't seem to break quite as often. I think they one seem of my to be tracking questions arch is a little like, below. What is the attraction to running arch? Like a serious question. I think the, people, the bleeding people like edge. the. People, I think, and I think people like the idea of like a rolling distribution, uh, and like there, there, there's something to be said about like not having like version demarcations, but also there's there's the other edge of like, hey, it makes support really easy when you say you need version X and above, mm-hmm. uh, as as opposed to you need an Arch install with minimum these packages, which is a lot more troublesome to communicate and enforce. What about like just running Debian unstable? I mean, like, you could do that. Yeah, you could do that. It, you could not, run the new you, Solus. You could, <laughs> Fedora you could, Rawhide is that yeah, sort of thing? Yeah, yeah, ab- ab- absolutely. Like, I, I, th- I think Rolling Arch Rhino. Has, I think Arch has kind of positioned it as like the sexy, the sexy bleeding edge dis- edge distribution. But like, all all the major ones have one, right? Like, if if you if you want to live that life, you absolutely can. Well, I mean, that's what most new users end up installing. Like after you're like, I run the Arch because you know you want to be like, I run Arch. By the way. And, yep. you know, I've always said Arch is good. It's a good learning experience because it will break on you more often. Yeah. And it, it has like, and honestly, like Arch Linux has probably the best quality documentation period. Yes. Of, like, any Ever Linux since the Gen 2 wiki we, we lost went the way of the Dodo. Our, yeah, yeah. That used to the, be the, the thing. The Arch man. wiki is the, w- the one to go to. <laughs> yeah. So, so like, you know, com- coming out the other end of it, you, you'll learn a thing or two. Absolutely. Um, and, and like. And I, I guess maybe there's something to be said of like other people have gone through that journey as well. So there is a support system in place mm-hmm. for, for learning that, um, which, which is an advantage in and of itself. So, I mean, ha- having a good resource for documentation is completely valuable. And like that answers the question all by itself. Cause the arch has got the best documentation right now. Like you run yeah. into a problem. There it is. Like, yeah. and like that can switch things like one of the reasons i'm using um reaper these days is because it's got more people using it therefore there's a larger knowledge base and i got to the mm-hmm. point where i'm asking bigger more important questions that you're going to run into later on that these answers just don't exist brother yeah, you you need more eyes on it All right you want like a page of answers you don't want a link to one forum that has the one person of like never mind i figured it out Yes. That's... <laughs> Who were you, Denver Coder sixty nine? Who were you, and what did you see? What's great too is like oftentimes you have to amalgamate several of the Stack Overflow posts to mm-hmm. make the solution you actually yep. need. So there is an element of synthesis there. You can't just copy paste. You gotta like read and understand. Oh, man, good times. Uh, do we have do we have any uh, hate mail assignments for next week? Uh so if I don't know. What get, was get, the distro? So, what was the distro oh. that you picked? So, uh, Ego uh, brought up this like uh, first thing was picking a distro. Mm-hmm. What was the distro that you picked, and what was what was the primary motivator for you to pick that? I, I want <laughs> I want someone to take a stab at trying to build the Quake Two re-release with Clang and tell us how that goes. Oh yeah, it, they did. They did claim it worked. So. <laughs> they, 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 cl- they claim it compiles so I'm, I'm, I'm curious if one of you psychopaths is like challenge accepted oh. well I mean if you're looking for a Linux distribution you go to Google so you can get your top 10 list 
<laughs> All right, let Linux men from the uh, you know the authority of a uh, bbomb dot com. The, the no no relation to bbombs world. <laughs> Linux men, so you can tell like this is probably just generated. Um, yeah, hey, yeah. What's number two going to be? <gasps> Pop OS. Poo -poo 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 right. Yeah. No number three was Fedora. <laughs> mm -hmm. Fedorf coming in strong. Yeah. Number three, near stock version of GNOME, which means that you're going to have to customize it. Um, Manjaro, number four. Boo. Number four should be number zero, baby. <laughs> Manjaro, no. Uh, no. Whiskey and Manjaro. Manjaro is the real arch. That's the one everyone ah. runs. <laughs> whiskey and Manjaro. <laughs> It's, All right. That's the other real arch. Hey, that's look, the we, one we, that we, most we, people we, don't run. We get arch with pastels and shit. Um, we have Windows 10 at home, you guys. It used to be Entergos, but uh, yeah, Entergos died, that, so now it's Endeavorous. That's a little bit of a dark horse. I mean, you don't hear about elementary too much these days. All right, number no, six. Right. What are we doing for now? Zo get Z the fuck Z out Z of here. Zorin. Z Zorin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to edit that out. I want you to hear that sound. <laughs> That's, that's my Zorin, uh, Zorin's very good. Zorin. The, if you like to play with different, yeah, if you uh, like to buy the pro version, that's forty bucks, bitch. Which I didn't say. <laughs> you know, you all, they give you a nice DVD, right? At least <laughs> I don't know. They they, yeah, they they give you a dongle for the game, unlock extra feet. I don't. Garuda. Yeah, if you Garuda. want to play with the there's a different eight. desktop configurations. My Zorin's eyes. Oh my god, that's hideous. Why? Why would you ever do Purple that? Oh, orange. that looks like my desktop. That's that looks the like, same icon theme that I have. <laughs> what, what 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 is that? Ubuntu like fourteen? I don't know. No, that's uh, based on Arch, uh, <laughs> and the uh, the theme is called uh, the icon oh, theme man. is called Candy. Th this has been written. It uses something called a Zen Linux kernel? Question mark. Yeah, it's the Licorix kernel. Yeah, like, I know anyone it is, who's but they used. Don't. <laughs> The people writing the article, putting it the, at number the, eight. The, only <laughs> cheaters, only cheaters use custom kernels, though. So if you're yes. a hacker, <laughs> so the, the, so for you. Tim Sweeney. Number nine, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> a blast Solus. from the past, Solus, <laughs> which is back from the dead. Nike's back yes. on the project, uh, so they're doing a little bit of work on it. All right, it's around. It's still a thing. Who's going to be number ten? Drum roll, please. Linspire, Linspire, Ubuntu. Okay. <laughs> Ubuntu. Basically Windows 10. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> <laughs> so all we know that um, the entirety of your list, bbomb.com, can get absolutely fucked because Debian's not on here. <laughs> Fuck you, oh, bbomb staff. They have pop and they have oh, uh, oh, no, 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 they, they have a Debian with have... body kits and like <laughs> fart mufflers on it. But uh, well, they, yeah. I, I mean, uh, same, same with Arch. They got Arch with body cuts and fart mufflers, man. Yeah, there, there, there's no actual Arch. <laughs> Listen, if you Debian, like what De oh, God. I was just gonna say, Debian is part of the Ubuntu ecosystem, don't you know? Oh, right, that's you're right. I mean, <laughs> yeah. that's I yeah, mean, if you want to drum up some uh <laughs> engagement, yes, uh, no, no, yeah, yeah, Debian is one of my favorite Ubuntu spins. Um, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> somebody isn't, isn't that. that right, Mark Shuttleworth? <laughs> oh, somebody clip that Debian Brown edition. I'm going to, oh, dude. Okay, somebody remind me because I am going to be doing a um, how to set up Debian for production audio. I'm going to do it with a rectangle. And I want to launch that video by saying that exact phrase. It's like Debian is one of my favorite Ubuntu spins. I find it's really minimal. And you know me, I'm going to fucking do it. Nobody narc on me. Or it's going to yeah. be something everybody watching this show is going to be like, if we're just going to sit back, get your popcorn, and we'll head over to the uh, comment section on the YouTube video. Oh, yeah. It'll be great. Hey! No, you, you should have been like Debian is my favorite arch spin. Oh, we're, we're, we're gonna it's, it's gonna be slight and people are gonna do it. But if you like videos and stuff like that, you want to support it, head over to our support page, LinuxGameCast.com. We got a Patreon, we got LibrePay, we got PayPal. Give us all your cash. Put it all over our face, chest, and neck. We do appreciate it. One-time donations, recurring donations. We got wish lists for Jordan, Jill, Pedro. I got one for the studio. As always, you end up back here. If that's your thing, I will shame you. Get a merch store. We got an Amazon storefront and humble affiliate codes, but we got a new patron this week. We <gasps> do. Who goes by the name that shall there be spoken. The, there are those who call him Tim. It is Tim. Tim of legend. Oh, hi, Tim. 
Yeah. Hello, Tim. <laughs> Tim. Timmy Tams. Timmy Toms. I never know because I, I like this week. Uh, uh, Tim, uh, uh, the creator of Pipewire, like followed me on Twitter. Then we get like it's, it's, it's Tim Sopchin. <laughs> there, 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 there's too many Tims. <sighs> so many Tim Tims. Many. Tams of Tims. We thank yeah, you. For I assume support. it's not Tim Sweeney. Otherwise, uh, oh, dude, that would be <laughs> there's a conflict of interest. I, no, I would yeah. love that to piss Pedro off. Um, <laughs> Wait, if, you are, if you are a patron, you can uh, get a bunch of things. We got a bunch of things to sweeten that deal up to and including our pre-pre super shows in which if you like this show, hey, that's great. Maybe you like watching the live show and you don't get a chance. We put that out the next day in podcast format, video format. You're good to go. Pre-pre super shows is another hour of basically this little pre-show planning, all that. Good time. Uh, access to our show notes and again, other features. We got uh, Twitch, tri- Twitch Prime subs as well. I got to thank uh, the folks who are sending us yes. those uh, Bezos bucks. I got to thank Stryker, who's a good buddy of mine from way back in the day. And uh, Nubbin's also given us them Twitch Prime monies. Yeah, uh, sign up to us for or give us your Twitch Prime sub. You can get access to our Discord channel yeah. through it. And it's, you know, free money you can give us. you anything and it well, gives no, us you, some extra monies. I mean, you're already paying for Prime. Yeah, you've you're already, paying you've for already Prime. You've already paid that money. So. That, I always that, look at it like this. Uh, the main reason I got it set up with our uh, Twitch thing is like, try before you fucking buy. Like, hey, we're very confident. Like, it's a great mm-hmm. place to have some decent discussions, and it's not all about Linux, and we don't really have to do any moderation. That's that kind of joint. But I do want to thank Five Striker for a very particular reason, Jordan. Oh? He gifted me a sub to Linux Gamecast. Oh, how nice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I don't know if that was intentional, but I, I appreciate it no matter how that came to be. Was, yeah. Yeah. Sure, that, yeah. That, that, that was well. And also, Nubbin thrown down 39 month resub as well. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Stay tuned. Uh, we also do Trackmania on Tuesdays and Fridays if that's your thing. Retro Trackmania 2 forever, baby. We're keeping that dream alive. Get a private server, a great place to hang out. Hop in the Discord, head over to the uh, Trek Manias and everything's pinned that you need to know. All the launch codes. Jordan is going through Baldur's Gate every Thursday until it finally fucks up his save bad enough to where he rage quits. Yep. Yep. That 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 that, that that's how it happens. That's a, a distinct um, that, possibility. That's what happened with Cyberpunk. That's not the first time it's gonna happen. It's not the last time it's gonna happen. Where you get through the entire segment and it's like, oh, you got to do it again. And we're done. Right. And uh, <laughs> Wednesdays, we do weekly daily Wednesdays. If you're looking for like a midweek, just Linux, the open source, you're like, hey, what's going on? That's kind of cool. That interests me or Jill. That is all so a thing. All right. Our dog didn't crash. So Duh. that's cool. Duh, 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 it was the Duh, RAM. Duh. <laughs> it's always the RAM. The RAM's the fucking DNA. Uh, yeah, DNS of. Uh, <laughs> gotta got got to download more RAM, right? <laughs> no, man. Uh, we need to make one of those and release it. Like as an open source project, just to fuck with people. Cloud cloud memory, yes. <laughs> yes. Just download a page file. <laughs> on that bombshell. If you want to get in touch with me, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm on X. I'm on X, which is, you can find it at twitter.com because that's how you get to X these days. Vinstone, still doing things there, but we have a federated timeline Mastodon thingy at Mast. LinuxGameCast.com. It's easy to remember. It's like LinuxGameCast.com, but with more masks in front of it. Where I'm just at Vin doing the things over there as well. As always, just at Reply Me in our IRC or Twitch or in our Discord. I sleep like four hours a day, so it's fine if you get any questions about anything. I'm Jordan. You can find me on XX69420, Twitter, whatever the fuck they're calling it, at The Burning Fool, or on Mastodon. I'm Frojo at Mast.LinuxGameCast.com. Well, I'm not on X anymore. I just you coward. You didn't even delete your. Are, 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 but how how do we know if you're straight edge then? Right? <laughs> That's the thing. I did. Uh, I didn't delete my account because they don't let you just outright delete it. You have to deactivate it first, and if you let it be deactivated for thirty days, then it's deleted. So I, I'm gonna I wait for thirty I, I days. You, I can give you. I can help you get it deleted. <laughs> just let me have it for like ten minutes. <laughs> No, that just gets it blocked. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, I am on uh, Mastodon, so uh, unaccounted for with the actual number four at mass.linuxgamecast.com. That, that is the last of my um, social networks. 
If That's Mastodon it. goes away, I, I'm going away from social networks. We're, then we're going to start Google minus. <laughs> go, go, Google Google factorial. Google by times Google times Ogle times Gl. Times. Time for some credits. Yes. <laughs> Poorly educated, there, Alex. I take exception to that. I'm not educated at all. <laughs> I grew up TV. I, 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 I am Talk Good. We got to thank our advisor, Noah Vegas, and Arthur, and we got to thank our executive producers, Bob Bram, Scott Michaud, Tom McCass, Mike G, Drummer Pebble, Tomas, Shakim, David, Eshep, and Ian, and our little Nicky fans, to just out Empty, Glorious Eggy, and Blast Meow. Sea Monsters, Renault, Rider X, Machina, Trudgy, Verse, Anuda, Justin, Nubbin, Darkwing, System T, Dunzing, Joe, Ogi One, and Kyrillo with the Death Notes, Nova K, Basil, Chad, Romeo, Marson, Renee, Leonardo, Kresny, Kim, Chris, Stephen, Jill, and it's Tiny! How the hell did we do it? Stephen, Dirty Dean, back! Game of Tron, Turnover, Rue! Tim! Line up steady, Thank you, Carl, Mike, Thank Arthur, you. Linux, New York, Aldius, Noctilus, John, E. Chef, Game of Tron, you know, DSN, Joe, Aromatic, Dev, and Kaiju are helping us put together our little Linux powered studio. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to wrap us up for this week. Tune in live if you ever get a chance. Come say moo and tell us about your favorite soup. But until then, Point a fire. One of these Cream buttons. of mushroom. <laughs> Squee. Chris, shut the hell up. <laughs> Five dudes.